Hello everyone, in today's video let's take a look at what it would take for us to find out how many total joins are in the scene in Maya. And what is the reason for that? So sometimes uh, when you are creating characters for a specific game engine or maybe a marketplace, you're submitting your new character uh, rigged and animated to a marketplace, uh, some of these places will have rules and limitations. And uh, it is important to follow those and one of those limitations could be um, for example, a total number of bones that is allowed for a character. And so uh, once in a while there is going to be a situation um, as you begin to get into more of a character modeling and rigging that you will need to find out a total number of joins uh, present in your character. So let me show you uh, what would be the quickest and easiest way to do this, right? Um, to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick off where I left off the last video, which is um, which is this video right here. Um, in the last one, if you didn't see this, maybe take a look, but we created this uh, 3D character that is fully uh, rigged and animated using Mixamo. So if I jump back into Mixamo, you can see him in action, right? So we built him in ZBrush and we brought him um, into Substance Painter to do some textures really quick. And then we brought him in here to do auto rigging and do some uh, animation, right? So you have a huge library of animations here in Mixamo that are, that is free, royalty free. So you can just literally just double click on one and see your character in place. Now, one of the things that is kind of bugging me, uh, there's two things, right? In addition to knowing how to calculate joins, maybe another thing that we could quickly take a look at is um, how do we take a character from here, for example, and modify some of this uh, deformation. So that's just literally takes two seconds and maybe I want to show you, um, I could show you how to do that real quick. So the first step is going to be downloading our character. So I'm going to go ahead and say download. Once it's downloaded, let's go ahead and jump into Maya and let's just import our FBX file that we just downloaded from Mixamo. Uh, very cool. This is how it comes in. I'm going to turn on my textures and take a look. I can also press play. And uh, here we go. So you can see that uh, Maya is also showing us exactly the same problem as we saw in uh, Mixamo. But how do we quickly fix this uh, weight issue in Maya? So let's take a look. So one thing I would like to do is I'm going to turn this button on so I can see the joints. I'm also going to go into material attributes and I'm going to pump up my ambient color uh, here so I can see can see this a little bit better. Let's go ahead and just simply find the pose that looks the most uh, troubling. So right here, this clearly doesn't look very nice. I'm going to select my uh, character and to adjust the skin weights, all I need to do is just simply go into the rigging tab, go into, uh, let's go into skin. Let's jump into paint skin weights. Let's click on options. And if I uh, right click on this, I can say select influence, right? So this joint is going to be selected and it's showing me what um, influence it has on the mesh. And you can clearly see that there's some um, issues right here because the influence stops right here at this line, right? So how do I fix this? Well, I could go into my uh, smooth brush here and I'm going to make sure that my profile is set to smooth. My opacity is all the way up and I do have the color ramp uh, checked so you could use that or you can uncheck it doesn't really matter but all you need to do is just literally just smooth this out so I'm gonna smooth this out on this uh, on this side and now if we go back into this mode and just simply press play you can see that the arm is deforming much much easier so that's how easy it is to auto rig something and then bring it out of Mixamo back into Maya and just literally just very quickly do a uh, little touch-ups on your animation all right now uh, we could do the same thing on this arm of course just find the most troubling angle which seems to be right here I'm gonna do the same thing select the mesh jump into my skin weights I'm gonna right click go to select influences uh, I'm still on my smooth brush I'm just gonna smooth this out create a little bit of a more of a gradient or a fall off all right, very nice. Let's go ahead and jump back out and press play. And there you go, that's how quickly I was able to do uh, these uh, simple touch-ups on this animation. Now, how do we uh, count the number of these joints, right? So to do that, there is a little tiny script. It's a three-line script that is right here. 
and if you um, check your uh, description for this video you will see that that is pasted in there so you're welcome to um, simply select it and copy it once you copy your uh, mail script simply press play and that will give you a total number of joints present in the scene so you can see it says 49 which means this character right here has 49 joints so if you for example had to submit it somewhere and the limit was 50 obviously 49 would work if the limit was you know 30 right then you would have to go in and manually adjust this or delete some of the joints so that's how easy easy that is and I'm gonna give you one more tip if you wanted to uh, not worry about ever finding the script and you wanted to maybe embed it as to be part of one of your shelves you can just simply select the shelves that you uh, would like the script to live on and if you just simply select it and then middle mouse drag it you can just add it right to your shelf right and now if I click on it it's gonna run the script and give me the total number of uh, joints so very simple and very useful I hope you find this video uh, helpful and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one